A Michael Tier, Michael.com. Look how cute this is. A H J. Hey, listen, guys. I don't think you guys have any clue what A H J means because every time I make a post, no matter what I talk about, no matter what the rule it is, yeah, oh, Mike, well, you got to check with the A H J, Mike. Well, it doesn't really matter what the code says, Mike. The A H J, which the authority have a jurisdiction, they make the final call. You guys have been brainwashed. You have no clue what you're even saying when you make a silly statement like that. So it's interesting that for me to watch the industry as I do all this stuff on social media, that people make all these comments. And maybe you guys are been taught this. Maybe somehow you just osmosis, you assume this, that somehow you think an inspector can go on a job site, can just decide he doesn't need to know the code and you don't need to know the code because all the inspector has to do is tell you what to do and you're like a little puppy dog. Since you don't know what you're doing, you just simply say, oh, okay, if that's what you want me to do, then I'll just do that because you know what? I don't want to piss you off. Guys, you need to understand how the code structure works. And the way it works is this. 90.4 is in the code and it tells us that the authority having jurisdiction is to approve equipment Usually they base it on listing, but not always, but that's generally, or some kind of field evaluation, testing, certification. And it also says the authority having jurisdiction interprets the rule, which means that let's assume that you and the inspector are working on something and there's a difference of opinion how that rule applies. Well, guess what? The inspector is going to be making that final decision. And that's what 994 is. That's what the authority have a jurisdiction, approve equipment, and making interpretation of a rule. It doesn't mean that they can just come on a job and say, I don't really care. I want you to put an antioxidant on the aluminum wire. I want you driving a ground rod there. I want you to do this and I want you to do that. And no, but listen, Mike, you don't understand. You don't want to piss off the inspector because then he's going to find the other things on your job and it's just easy to get along. I understand that. I do understand that. All I'm saying is that how about you learn the code? And when an inspector tells you to do something that's not the code, that means they're doing it illegally. They are exceeding their level of authority. And you got to decide, is this the hill you're willing to die on? And what you might want to do is like, okay, maybe not. I do. But maybe you don't want to. So guess what you do? You at least let the inspector know, you know, I really don't need anti-short bushings on MC Cable. I really don't need to put antioxidant on aluminum wire. That stopped in 1987 at the, the, the latest. I don't need to drive around to that pole, but I'm going to. Because you know what? I know how this works. I'm not going to piss you off. So I'm going to do what you tell me that I need to do. But I think it's wrong for you to be able to just decide what you want to. You should be learning the code. It, you guys say it in your own way you want to. And some of you are not going to push back. You don't want to do anything. It's not your money anyhow. So what do you care? But those of you that it is your money or those of you that take pride in what you, what you do, you, you're learning the code for a reason, I think you might want to push back a little bit. So let's make it clear. If anybody makes a comment on my post and I talk about the code only and I just give you the code, and if you say, well, it's up to the AHJ, Mike, it doesn't matter what you think, you know, the AHJ, AHA, I'm going to send you a notice to go to mycode.com.ahj. Actually, mycolt.com slash AHJ. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, this cute little thing here that I asked my wife to make. God bless.